Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In today's video, we will talk about the quartile of ungrouped data. This topic is under measures of position in statistics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now basically guys, let's define first what is meant by quartile. The quartiles are the score points which divide a distribution into four equal parts. So I have here a given data set para mas lalo na maintindihan what is meant by the quartile. Hindi kasi pwedeng uh, solve na tayo ng solve na hindi natin nag-gets kung ano ba talagang ginagawa natin. So when you say quartile, ito daw yung mga data points na nandito sa ating distribution in which hinahati niya daw yung ating given data set into four equal parts. So syempre, kung hahatiin mo ang isang bagay, you will start with, ako I will start with the middle. And hahatiin ko pa siya para makuha ko yung kalahati nito, ito siya, at yung kalahati pa nito sa kabila, ito yung isa pang division nila. So, ito ang nilagyan kong 3, 6, 9. Yung 3 natin, this is your first quartile. Or, first quartile, o yung sinasabi natin lower quartile. And itong 6 naman natin, since nasa gitna siya, ito yung quartile to number, quartile to natin, quartile to, So, pwede natin sabihin ito ay middle quartile at mas kilala siya bilang median. Okay? And yung number 9 naman natin, this is considered as your third quartile. Okay? Q sub 3. O kung meron tayong lower, meron tayong middle, this one is your upper quartile. And ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is we will calculate for the first quartile, second quartile, and third quartile using the formula. And later on sa video natin, I'll be introducing two different methods kung paano ba nag-solve ng quartile ng isang given data set. Now let's have the formula for the quartile 1 o yung Q sub 1 natin. Your Q sub 1 is equal to 1 over 4 times n plus 1 in which you can simplify this and it will become q sub 1 is simply n plus 1 over 4 kaya siya naging ganyan kasi 1 na naman yung coefficient sa labas so invisible na siya and for your middle quartile yung q sub 2 natin for your q sub 2 bring ko lang ito q sub 2 that will be since quartile to 2, you have 2 over 4 times n plus 1. And you can simplify this as q sub 2 is equal to 2 times n plus 1 over 4. Then you have quartile number 2. And for quartile number 3, this will become, this is 3 over 4. Again, quartile number 3 times n plus 1. In which you can simplify this, your formula for quartile 3 or upper quartile is simply 3 times n plus 1 over 4. In the next part of our video, we will solve for the quartiles of a given data set using two different methods. Now, we have here the first method on how to calculate for the quartile of ungrouped data. At yung tinatawag natin Mendenhall and Sinich method. At yung unang method na pag-uusapan natin. And later on, sa next part ng ating video, pag-uusapan naman natin yung second method natin which is yung tinatawag natin interpolation method. So stick muna tayo sa method natin. And here's the problem. Find the quartile 1 or first quartile, second quartile, and third quartile of the given data set. So meron tayo ditong data set natin. Kung mapansin nyo, naka-arrange na siya in ascending order or in other words from least to greatest so kailangan kasi naka-arrange muna siya Again, kailangan muna naka-arrange yung ating data set before kayo mag-calculate so we have here 1, 3, 7, 7, 16, 21, 
27, 30, and 31, in which the value of your n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Yung n natin is equal to 9. So, let's solve for the quartile 1. Una natin gagawin guys, is hanapin muna natin yung position of quartile 1. Hindi ito agad-agad yung, agad yung value ha. Kasi yung position muna. So, for the position, still we will be using the formula n plus 1 over 4. In which, yung n natin is equal to 9. So, we will have it as 9 plus 1 over 4. And yung 9 plus 1 natin is simply 10 over 4. So, for the position of quartal 1, position tayo ha. The position is simply 10 over 4 that will give us 2.5. Five. Ito yung rule natin. Kapag gumagamit tayo ng Mendenhall and Sinich method, we will round this up. I-round up natin. Round up. Again, since nag-fall siya between two integers, kailangan natin i-round off to. Pero pa-round up tayo. If this is 2.5, ang ating position ay third. Yung ating quartal 1 ay nasa third. So, pasok yun natin yun dito. If this is third, in position niya of quartile 1 is third. Punta natin. This is your first, second, and third. Therefore, your quartile 1 or first quartile is 7. Again, bagayin ko lang sa inyo, i-clarify ko lang ha. Yung position na nakuha natin is from 10 over 4 which is 2.5 since yung sagot natin is decimal or nag-fall siya between uh, two integers, i-round up natin siya. So, instead na mag-stick tayo sa 2.5, we will come up with 3 kasi round up tayo eh. And yung 3 natin is that is 3rd. Since 3rd tayo, at yung position ng quartal 1 natin, 3rd, hanapin natin ngayon dito which one is the 3rd data. 1, 2, uh, first, second, and 3rd. And that is your quartal 1 which is 7. Now, sir, how about the quartal 2? Obviously, guys, Yung quartile 2 natin is equal to um, 16. Alam nyo bakit ko na sabi 16? Kasi, siya yung gitna. Diba? Yung gitna natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, meron tayo 9 data set, 9. Ang middle nito yung 5th. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, which is 16. Pero, isolve pa rin natin yung position. Kaya natin na Quartile a position of quartile 2. Position quartile 2. Ang formula natin ay 2 times n plus 1 over 4. So yung n natin is equal to 9. So 2 times 9 plus 1 over 4. Okay? So simplify natin to. Yung ano natin, n. This is 2 times 10 over 4. And this is 20 over 4 in which uh, yung position niya quartile 2 is equal to 5. Diba? Kasi yung 20 over 4 natin is equal to 5. Whole number na siya, ibig sabihin yung 5. ba? So, therefore, 1, a 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, which is 16. Kung saan, kapareha siya ng sagot natin kanina without solving. Okay? Kasi ano eh, yung bilang ng ating data set ay uh, odd number. So, meron talaga siyang gitna. Okay? So, let's move on with the third quartile. So, for the position of quartile 3, we will be using the formula 3 times n plus 1 over 4. Again, 3 times n plus 1 over 4 where in yung n natin is equal to 9. So this is 3 times 9 plus 1 over 4. Tapos, simplify natin. 3 times 10 over 4. This is 30. Tama? 3 times 10 is 30 over 4. In which yung position ng quartile 3 natin 
is equal to uh, this is since ito ay 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 ito naman po ang rule kung kanina sa ating uh, lower quartile or quartile number 1 nag round up tayo nag round up tayo from 2.5 it became 3 kaya siya naging 3rd para naman sa ating quartile 3 or upper quartile itong 7.5 natin mag round down tayo so this is equal to 7 so magiging 7 siya Again, round down, 7. So, kung 7 yan, it will become 7. Okay? So, yung position ng ating upper quarter ay pang pito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Ito ngayon yung ating quarter 3, which is 27. So, I hope na itong first method natin ay naging malinaw sa inyo kung paano i-calculate yung ating Lower quartile, middle quartile, or yung second quartile natin, at yung ating upper quartile, gamit yung Mendenhall and Snitch method. In the next Let's move on with the second method on how to calculate for the quartile of ungrouped data. At ito yung tinatawag natin linear interpolation. So kanina, pinag-usapan natin yung Mendenhall and Snitch method in which yung mismong value ng ating lower quartile second quartile at yung upper quartile ay within the data set or nakikita natin sa mismong data set. Pero dito, pagdating sa linear interpolation, possible na makuha natin lower quartile, middle quartile at saka yung upper quartile ay wala mismo sa data set na ito. Yun yung mangyayari dito. Now, we are asked to find the quartile 1 and quartile number 3. Yung quartile number 2 kasi natin, alam na natin kung ano siya, diba? So, first, let's have the position. of your quartile 1 in which your formula is simply this one you have the formula n plus 1 over 4 in which your n natin is equal to 4 so we can substitute it here we have 9 plus 1 over 4 and then it will become 10 tama? 10 over 4 so masabi natin ang position of quartile number 1 is this one. This is 2.5. So, gawin natin ganyan. So, ngayon, paano natin makuha yung exact value ng ating quartile 1? So, I think, uh, bear with me ha. So, we have here for quartile number 1, since 2.5 second ito, 2.5 second ito, itong full number natin, that is your second, Okay, plus yung decimal natin which is 0 0.5 Again, mag-focus mo na kayo sa ating whole number which is 2, di ba? So that, that is second. So second tayo. Tapos kunin mo yung decimal point which is 0 0.5 times So paano natin makuha ngayon yung, ano, yung, question niya, yung value niya? Puntaan mo yung second row which is second, di ba? Ang formula natin ngayon ay third minus second third minus second. Again, since ito ay second, para makuha decimal mo, 0 0.5 times yung pangatlo minus the second. So, for the quartile 1, kunin mo yung value ng second mo, which is 3. Okay? Second, which is 3, plus 0 0.5 times your third, first, second, third, 7, minus your second, which is 3. So simplifying this, it will give us 3 plus 0 0.5 at ito 7 minus 3, that will give you 4. And then multiply me 0 0.5 by 4. This is 3 plus 2. Kasi 0 0.5 times 4 is 2. And yung quartile natin or yung lower quartile natin is simply 5. So check natin ha. Papansin nyo. Yung nakuha natin quartile number 1 is 5 at wala siya sa mismong wala siya sa mismong given data set natin. Ganti nangyayari sa linear interpolation compared sa naunang method natin na kung saan nandito mismo yung quartile natin. So ang quartile number 5 natin is yung ating tinatawag na 5. So let's move on with the quartile number 3. So una natin gagawin, hanapin muna natin yung position of quartile number 3. Ang formula natin ay 3 
times n plus 1 over 4. So, substitute natin value ng n natin, which is 9. This is 3 times 9 plus 1 over 4. Okay? So, this is 3 times 10 over 4. So, makuha natin dito ay 30 over 4 na kung saan yung position of quartile 3 natin ay 7.5 yan so sir paano natin mak makuha ngayon yung exact uh, exact value of your quartile number 3 or upper quartile so focus muna tayo sa ating whole number diba 7.5 to diba 7.5 focus ka muna sa whole number mo ibig sabihin 7 okay pang 7 and then for this decimal, you will have this plus 0 0.5 ulit, kasi decimal siya, times, kung 7 ito, ang formula mo ngayon is 8 minus your 7 data set, or data. Again, since 7 siya, kunin mo yung 8 minus 7. Parang ganito rin naman dito. Second, kaya siya naging third minus second. So ito 7, kaya siya 8 minus 7. So, substitute natin. Yung 7th natin is 1, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, which is 27 plus 0 0.5 times. Ang 7th natin, 27, ito yung 8th natin. So, this is 30. Pang, pang 1 natin to, uh, 30 minus 27. Okay? Simplify natin. This is 27 plus 0 0.5 times. Ito ay 3. Tama? 30 minus 27 is 3. So, multiply natin yung ating mismo ano, yung mismo ano natin, yung mismo 0 0.5 natin. Okay? 0 0.5 and this will give us 27 plus 1.5. Pag inad natin sila, your quartile number 3 is equal to 28.5. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating upper quartile in which diba wala siya dyan. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung dalawang methods natin on how to calculate for the quartile of a given and group data. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!